now we are going to discuss on the industrial loads and the industrial loads can be classified basically into three types constant torque constant power and variable torque loads first we will be discussing on the constant torque loads so constant torque loads are the loads which are ungoiled frequently where the torque required by the load is constant throughout the speed range so whatever be the speed range the torque has to remain the constant so the basic example is with the case of a conveyor belt just imagine a 10 ton load conveyor uh, load is on the conveyor belt it requires same amount of torque whether the conveyor speed is 5 or 50 feet per minute that is speed of conveyor whatever it may be the torque should always remain the constant so the horsepower requirement will increases with the speed so that is the power is increasing with the speed and the torque is remaining constant so the basic example is the hoist, conveyors, printing presses, etc. Other examples of uh, constant torque loads are screw compressors, reciprocating compressors, positive displacement pumps, crushers, ball mills, process line, strips, work and sheet, crushers, extruders. Next we will be discussing on constant power loads so the load decreases with the increasing speed so that is one thing and here the power is remaining the constant of whatever be the speed and torque is inversely proportional so this is in the case of lathes winders unwinders metal cutting tools etc so just imagine that you are having a bobbin which is rotating at a particular speed. Now what happens is that I am trying to wind a particular wire on this particular bobbin. So the bobbin is rotating and wire is being wound on this particular bobbin. So the wire which is being wound on that it should be at a constant speed. Otherwise what happens is that the wire will break. So when the bobbin size is increasing because of the wire which is wound on that particular bobbin the diameter is increasing so that period of time the speed has to be controlled so that is initial large diameter workpiece maximum torque should be there and slow speeds are required once the diameter is getting reduced or reduced then the torque should reduce and the speed should also increase so that is with the case of a constant power loads. So uh, the examples are uh, the machine tools uh, where heavier cuts are taken at lower speeds and lighter cuts are done at a higher speeds. Next one is the center driven winders which we have already discussed in the previous slide. The other one is the variable torque loads. Variable torque loads are the most common type of loads in the case of an industry. That is the case of a centrifugal pump, a centrifugal fan. So in that the horsepower is normally uh, proportional to the cube of the speed change. So a very small change in speed can result in a higher reduction in the energy consumption. So a large amount of energy saving opportunities are being with the help of uh, variable torque loads. So here this is the speed and this is the torque and uh, this shows the variation with the power and with the torque so it is a variable torque and variable power load we can say and the basic examples of variable torque shows the centrifugal pumps fans blowers and compressors so whenever you're trying to explain the industrial loads you should always keep in mind that it is the constant torque loads constant power loads and variable torque loads okay. thank you